one thing that always is a guarantee for a transfer window with West Ham is that we're going to be looking at strikers. You know what I mean? We, us West Ham and strikers are just a, not a good mix ever, ever been a good mix. We just can't seem to get it right. I mean, how many years now have we been looking for a striker and it's just not worked? I mean, even when you think of Antonio has been our most successful striker in years and he's not even a striker. I mean, he's a winger that we've converted, but crazy, absolutely crazy. I mean, obviously we look at, I mean, we've not replaced Hilaire still, you know, we, we brought in Skamaka to replace him. He, he didn't work out and we're still now looking. It, it is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But we, we do have a new setup at West Ham now. So I'm going to give them the chance, give them the benefit of the doubt and say, look, just go out there and get the right striker. I've always kept repeating this quite some times. I don't understand why we can't just look for a striker that fits the model that we need. Do you know what I mean? Just fit. Like we always keep trying to find some a, a striker, but then they go, they revert back to Antonio. You're thinking, we'll just get someone that's got the same attributes as Antonio. I mean, I appreciate that's not easy because you know he is pretty unique, Antonio, in terms of how he plays. But what, what I mean, you know, someone's going to run the channel. Someone's going to bully. You know, work hard, and that's that's what we want. Rather than having someone that's going to play deep and want the ball given to them, if it doesn't work, we're not playing a system like that. I mean, as I say, I don't know what our system's going to be really yet because we haven't seen it um, if, if for our own eyes in terms of what Lopetegui wants to be doing. I mean, we've got, we've got a good idea of you know how he wants to play, possession based, of course. Um, when you look at his previous football clubs, but um, when it comes to a striker, I just want them to get it right. So we are getting linked with some strikers, though, and, and it's a position we've got to get right. Uh, and I feel like I say this every transfer window. I've been saying it for years. We all have, haven't we? We've been saying it for so long. But um, so we've got a bit of a, an update on this, though. Um, Yusuf in the series. So, I mean, we've been linked with this player now about 35 transfer windows, I think. Uh, every transfer window, we're linked with this player. And every time, I remember looking at it, when I do like the updates, okay, and I have to go and check their stats, etc. I always notice that he's another year older. I'm pretty sure when I first reported on him, he was 24, 25. He's now 27. Um, obviously, still at Sevilla. Um, it's an interesting situation with him at Sevilla. Um, because it does appear that he's played his last game. Um, when he when he last featured for them, there was it was a bit of an emotional moment with him and the fans. We know that he's very loyal, and I really like that in him. Um, I'll tell you why I say that is because we tried to get him. I think it was two Januarys ago. This is how long we're talking now. Do you know what I mean this is how ridiculous this is to get him? I think it was about two Januarys ago. We were trying to buy him, and during that season, Sevilla were in a relegation battle. And we were quite the opposite, I believe. I think it might, that's why I know I'm talking. I think this was a season where we were fighting to get into Europe um, anyway. And he wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave Sevilla, even though he wanted the move to West Ham. He knew it was a big opportunity for him and wanted, wanted the move to the Premier League. All these things we understand that he was very keen on, but he wouldn't leave Sevilla because of the position, situation they were in. They were in a relegation battle and he just felt he couldn't leave them in that position. And I just thought, well... I remember reporting at the time and saying, and X and Dave saying it as well, you know, that, that that's commendable, actually. Like, I'm, I'm happy for you not to come then, if that's how your mind is. And I, I liked that loyalty. Um, so I've been actually impressed with him. And you can't deny as well, his um, stats are impressive as well. Um, I mean, it's 20 goals this season he scored for Sevilla in the La Liga. Uh, the season before he scored 18. So he's a consistently good goal scorer. Um, the big, obviously... Uh, link here with Nasiri, not only the fact that we've been linked with him, you know, we've been, you know, since I was the age of eight, um, is that, yeah, all right, not that long, and uh, is, the, is the fact that he's worked under Lopetegui before. Lopetegui, of course, was manager of Severe, so that, that he knows him really well. Um, and I, I get the feeling, like I talked about it previously, uh, or lots of long ago, about Ben Johnson, in terms of Ben Johnson wanting to change his uh, situation at West Ham. Um, in that Lopetegui appears to be quite charming, actually, and quite good at this. So I, I, I quite hold a bit more hope, actually, now that Johnson, um, sorry, that um, and the Siri might be lured to come to West Ham more because there is a bit of an issue here with Lopetegui. I'm um, sorry, with and the in the terms of that, in, in terms of that, other clubs are interested. Aston Villa and Tottenham are very keen on the player, um, so that that could be a bit of a problem, and also a big problem for us if. So, if Ollie Watkins leave Villa, I don't think Ollie Watkins will leave Aston Villa personally. I don't can't see him leaving them while they're now in the Champions League. It just doesn't make sense for me. But you know, you just don't know. But anyway, that Villa are looking at and Syria and Tottenham are as well. So that's that's an issue. Um, we, there's reports that West Ham have been quoted the number it would take to get uh, in the series to West Ham, 
And it's reasonable. What we're hearing, well, this is only what's been reported, so just to take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt, everyone else, but we understand it's going to be in the region of around about £25 million. Now, £25 million for a player that was not too long ago, we were looking at paying 50, you know, 50, 60 million at some stage, uh, and suddenly down to 25 because of his uh, financial issues. It's, it's, a, it's a very attractive. I mean, this is a very, very attractive uh, proposition for West Ham. And also, he's a player, from what we've seen, uh, that would fit the West Ham system. As I say, it's difficult to keep saying that because we don't know exactly how we're going to line up. But if you can think, the fact he's worked under the current head coach at West Ham, now Lopetegui, before, he's got a great goal scoring record. Someone would have been very interested in. I think he ticks a lot of boxes, actually. Um, that's not to say he's our number one target. We're going to be doing an update a bit more on the striker situation, but um, he's certainly up there. He's certainly up there. And I think that, that could be an attractive position. A proposition. Also, as well, considering the fact West Ham have got to be very careful. You know, we're not able to sell Paqueta. Um, you know, that's 90 million quid we can't get access to, which is frustrating uh, for West Ham. Um, we're going to talk about, again, we'll talk about Paqueta in another video. Um, but the situation is that with uh, in the series, that, that could be the, the more attractive option was what I mean. Will West, Ham, will West Ham want to go and spend 50 million pounds striker when we get one for half the price that could do a job? I mean, he's only 27 um, and he's proven to be a very good striker. So, look, I, I, I'm, I'm all for it. If, if we go down that route, I, I think he's a player that I've always been very impressed with, actually, um, and, and wanted at West Ham. So, if this comes off, I'd be really pleased. But it's, it's early days. And as I said, there's competition. So, a long way to go in that one. Another player we've been linked with as well, um, which I'm once upon a time very excited about. I would have thought, yeah, brilliant. I'm, I'm not so much now. Not so much. Not to say again, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit torn on it. But Tammy Abraham, we are being linked with um, as a return. He's, he's in Roma at the moment. He's obviously been out there for a couple of seasons, um, leaving Chelsea a couple of years ago. When he left Chelsea, um, I wanted him at West Ham. I, I thought that was a short, we were very short side not to get him. He had a very impressive start to life um, at, at Roma under Jose Mourinho. And was banging in the goals, and I, I, I was gutted. And then there was talk about we were going to go back in for him, um, but it was unlikely. I think he was quite settled at the time. But there's talk now that he is very keen on a move back to England. Tammy Abraham is 26, um, so he's still you know years ahead of him in the game, and that's sort of perfect age. Um, and again, another player that I do think would fit us actually. But I will say, and also from London. He's from London, a London boy, so that's also a, an attraction, isn't it? That he can come in, settled, settled down. He's, it's not like he's moving abroad. He's not going to be able to settle. You think he, he comes straight back in, be close to his friends and family, etc. The issue I've got with him is his um, injury record and his goal scoring record. Actually, at Rome has not been that great. Um, you know, as I say, a decent start out there, but it seems to have sort of um, plateaued. Let's say you know it, has, it hasn't gone uh, great. One goal last season, uh, twelve appearances due to injury, etc. Um, and the season before, he got nine goals. That was at 54 appearances. Uh, not been great. Let's be honest, these stats don't look great. But, you know, as I say, these are just kind of doing the, the rumour rumor mill at the moment. Again, he's also a player that's been linked elsewhere. It's not just West Ham. So it's worth to keep an eye on. Um, there's, we, we are going to be linked with a lot of strikers, as we always are. Uh, but it's, it's a position we've just got to get right. Got to get it right. We, you know, we can't keep getting these players in that just do not fit. We, we, especially when we spent a lot of money on you look at Sebastian Hilaire has gone on and done really well for himself as he's gone to Dortmund um, great to see him healthy as well isn't it again uh, Hilaire that was a real worry when you heard that he had these um, cancer diagnosis so it's great to see him back and playing but uh, yeah he uh, but didn't work at West Ham you know a great player we just couldn't make work because we didn't do our homework and, and Skamaka even more so it's a real shame you know I was looking at clips of Skamaka the other day um, the goals he scored for West Ham he was such a good player you know, so, but we just couldn't make it work as a long-term thing. And it, you just feel like we can't keep making these mistakes. We can't keep getting players in, spending all this money, and they're just not right for the football club, not right for the team and the setup, etc. Something we've just got to get right. So, yeah, it's um, it's a big one this summer. But I, I do believe West Ham are going to get a striker. Uh, now we've got the, the Tim Stites and Lopetegui set up. It's just, you know, our new scouting network. Let's hope we can get it right. But as I say, in the series at this stage is looking... Uh, not once I the number one, but a top, top target.